Hi there. So up until now, we've talked about fun and motivation as one of the main reasons that people play. But we didn't say anything about happiness. So what's in a word? What's happiness all about? And how, how can we see that games are actually leading to happiness? Because that's what happened in the real world. Nowadays, many people are using games to make others happier. So we are seeing this in hospitals and there are many serious games that are used for that. All right. So what is the PERMA model? Because when we are talking about happiness and well-being, we have to mention the PERMA model. The PERMA model is something developed by, doc by Dr. Martin Seligman, which is this kind of authority in this world of positive psychology. And he says that there are five factors, five key factors for happiness. Every single one of them are creating happiness by themselves. And then when we mix all of those, and usually that happens in games, the mix is fantastic and people are as happy as they could be. So how are games related to this PERMA model? Let's analyze that. All right, so the first factor is positive emotions, as we've seen. What's positive emotions? What do we mean when we say positive emotions? Well, positive emotions is related to this kind of pleasure, quick fun, joy, or something similar. And we are linking this to games because nowadays many people, when they have a break or they have this kind of short period between work, they usually play casual games like Angry Birds, like Candy Crush or something like that. And that makes them happier. They are just playing that. And for example, they go back to office and they are saying, all right, I just got that level 260 in Candy Crush, which is actually complicated. And I just finally made it. It took me quite some hours, but I just did it. Okay, so the second factor is engagement. We've already seen that games provide quite many doses of positive emotions several times a day. And then we've got engagement. And then we have this kind of super nice grannies here absolutely hooked on what they're doing. And this is because games are a fantastic source of engagement. Engagement is clearly related to flow. It's this kind of process that we are absolutely focused on what we are doing. We lose track of what we are doing. And that happens every time when you are playing a game that you really like. You're playing, I don't know, World of Warcraft, you're playing Final Fantasy, you're playing Team Fortress, all those examples that we've mentioned before. And then all of a sudden it's eight o'clock. You started playing at five and all of a sudden it's eight or nine. You didn't even realize. That was because you were totally focused on what you were doing. You were just aiming to that. And that's engagement. And games are, again, a brilliant source of engagement. The third one is relationships. Well, this is a picture that we took in the last gamification Spain meetups. I don't know if it's, it's, I know it's not a picture from games, but well, I can show you some of the stuff that we are going to explain. So relationships, and which is actually relatedness that we've seen before in the self-determination theory is very important. Aristotle in the old times said that we are all social animals. And he was actually right. We need social contact. We've already seen that there is a motivator of social contact and we've already seen that games are a good source for social contact. Many people knew each other with games. Many people even got married thanks to games. So obviously games provide also a fantastic source for relatedness and for meeting new people. You meet new guys and that makes you be more social. Okay, so that was the third factor and let's go to the fourth one. Well, this is a picture from Final Fantasy X, which is actually one of the best Final Fantasy games ever done. Okay, with, well, number seven was actually better. Oh, well, you know what I mean. And then what I mean with this kind of meaning with Final Fantasy is that many people had a purpose to play this game. Many people, as we said before with romance, if you remember that, many people were aiming to see the secret final of Final Fantasy. They wanted to see Titus and Yuna together again. They wanted to see that kind of relation together again because there were so many events in the game that, took them, that put them apart. So that was their meaning. That was the why they were playing to, to see that thing. They had a purpose. Okay, and then the final factor, and this is actually a picture that you might not know. This is a picture from my favorite team of my city, which is Real Zaragoza. Now we are in the second league, so we are not in the Spanish Premier League. And I'm putting you this picture because this is actually one of the most and most important titles, biggest titles that we ever got, which was against Arsenal. Arsenal supporters might know this one. Okay, and why am, you, um, why am I putting you this picture here? Well, I'm doing this because when I'm playing FIFA or Pro Evolution Soccer, or as everyone that play those games is doing, 
well, they are trying to achieve something. So for example, in my case, I always try to get Real Zaragoza, put them in the Spanish Premier League, and just make them win the Champions League, which is my dream, and it will never happen, I think. Oh well, <laughs> I guess it will never happen. So that's what I do with games. I want to get that achievement, and I go for that. But there are many more examples of games that are related to achievements. Actually, every game is aimed to any kind of achievement, something that you have to do. For example, in Super Mario Bros, you have to rescue the princess and all that. So, as we can see, there is a clear relationship between games and happiness. Games are a fantastic source of happiness. And what we are trying to do with gamification is taking the best thing out of games, that fantastic motivational structure that games have, and apply that to other situations. And that will finally, that will eventually lead to happiness. So with gamification, we are making people happier. And that is a very important point. Okay, that was all for this lesson. See you in the next one.